lines, I won't be far away. Hey guys, Animate EX1 here. And it looks like it's 100. And this is part one of Let's Play Tiger Tasmanian Tiger. If you're gonna be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. Alright, so we're going to Bly Bly Station. And right now we And right now, as you guys notice, we only have one boomerang and uh if we throw it, it curves and comes back to us somehow. Um, so And we will be this, this is the spot where you guys weapon. saw in the cutscene. Now there's a big snake graffiti yeah. here. And uh, these are where the five talismans go, so we'll start collecting those throughout the game. But right yep. now, I just want to really quick show you guys this. In Rainbow Cliffs, which is the area we're in right now, hmm, it's not very colorful, even though it's called Rainbow Cliffs, mm -hmm. but uh, you collect something called, I don't know, they're basically rainbow shells. Like seashells. Yeah. And so there is one right here, right at the side of here. I don't know if. Hold on. Maybe if I back up. Yeah, it's right on that little edge right there. So if you. Oh, crap. Nice going. So yeah, you fail with only one boomerang. But when we get our second one, we'll be able to glide. Yep. Also, there is a building over there, if you guys can see that. And, uh, I'm not going to get into mo too much detail about that right now, but we'll be going there quite often later. So, yeah. let me just get back up, and I'll meet you guys there. Alright, hey guys, so we're here at Bly Bly, Bly, Bly Station. Station. So, let's go and see what awaits us. Our journey awaits. Alright. Now there's a gate, and there's a machine with a koala. Gate, yeah. koala. Gate, koala. Gate. I think. All right, koala. Hello, Mr. Good koala. Day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to, I said good day, mate. I is death. Oh goodness gracious me! Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last-minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. So, you old coot, <laughs> what's this contraption do? <laughs> this contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power metrics of the talismans. Hmm? Say what? Right. Mm, like a big nose that sniffs them out. Ah, oh, now I get it. Oh, okay. Oh. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Thunder eggs. Okay. Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? Batteries. Oh, <laughs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky! And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Hey, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just our luck. All right. Most of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. 
All right, hey, so that was pretty fascinating. So right here, you can see there's a number mm -hmm. under a picture of a thunder egg. At the top, it's red. In the middle, it's blue. And at the bottom, it's green. And there's a reason for that. There are three different types of thunder eggs. Mm -hmm. Red is fire thunder eggs. Blue is ice thunder eggs. And green is lightning thunder eggs. So, first is the fire thunder eggs. So, let's go into these portals and find them. Which is past the gate. Open up! No! Open oh up. my gosh. Oh, here we go. Portal! So, this one is called two up. Press Y to enter. Okay. Well, that was easy. Two up. I'm going to skip this loading, so I'll meet you guys in a second. All right. This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. Hmm. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. All right. So. Just shoots them out, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Listen, mate, I solved your problem. Okay. I found you a second boomerang. Oh, oh, sweet. That's great. Where is it? Yeah, where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah? Well, it's not there. What the frick? Thanks. Right. That that was well, good advice. Where is it? It's on top of Frill Nick Peak. Okay. Oh. oh. Right. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. Okay. So, as you can hear, I guess, by the way they sound, they are Australian. And for you guys who know this, you should know the Tasmanian is in Australia. So, yeah. Um, An Australian tiger. So, we landed from here, and let's enter. just get into it. Uh, our first thunder egg is just sitting there. Don't worry, though. They're, yeah. Well, they're not all going to be that easy to find. Jump, and... Uh, okay. There is a thunder egg. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One oh. down, 71 to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> Aw. Aww, All right. He made me feel bad about just And more. they made it like a total Legend of Zelda moment, so yeah. Jump! And these red things, we're gonna need to collect as many of them as we can because in every level there are exactly 30. No, 300 of them. I reckon those dummies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny, which was the uh. best place to be, given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum, but if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. Gee, so bull you're dust. saying that if I have an accident, <laughs> I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. So, right here okay. is a gigantic porta potty. And if we die, which we just go will happen there. a lot, we're just going to jump out. But the messed up part about it is every time he does come out, he for some reason goes, ah, as if he just used it. It's weird. Yes. All right, so in these crates, well, we can press B to bite or, or X to throw a boomerang. Either way, it'll and open. And A to jump. Well, yeah. And so, uh... <laughs> cutscene. This right. game is the cutscene. Time. You've got a fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. Yeah, I kind of already addressed that. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Have a go at those crates. Well, we already bit the first crate, so I'm just going to throw the boomerang at these ones. And, uh... Let's collect these. 
All right, now let's keep going. Hmm. Porta potty. I was speaking to a bloke down the local water hole, and he reckons you can use your rings to take care of enemies and smash things. Okay. Cool. He awesome. said something. All right, so that just talks about using the boomerang. These green guys are called frills, and they are henchmen of Boss Cass. So, let's just knock them out with our boomerang. And this second one, I think I'm going to bite them, so... Alright, back off! No, no, come here! No, no. There. Great. Great. Uh, it's much harder because I'm used to having two boomerangs, and... Actually, throughout the level, we're going to get new boomerangs with special abilities, so... Yeah, and I can tell you right now, they're way better than... Yeah, they're way better out. than this hunk of junk. Alright, so there's a crate with a little guy, sort of like the one in the intro. Oh, no. Not more cages. There's a guy in a cage. Sorry. Get him out of there! Yeah. What did happen? Boss Cass did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh, that sucks. Oh, wow. Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. All right, so I just pressed Y and skipped that, but basically there are five in each place we go to, and you just press B to bust them out, and if you find all five, then you'll get a thunder egg. So that's pretty dang sweet. Yep. Um, uh, I don't know. Alright, across okay. there you can see what looks like a golden gear. We're gonna go get that, and... Well, that was easy. That is called a golden cog, and... Oh, man, we swim, like... We just, just... suck at swimming, so... Alright, come on! We're gonna learn how to swim. Just not in this episode. Alright, there's another gear up there. I think we should get that gear, but not right now because we can't. Yeah. Which so. pretty much sucks. Alright. Ah. No. I gotta skip you. you. Take too long, man. Alright, um, staring at him. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I mentioned about the thunder eggs earlier. If you collect 300 opals, you'll get a thunder egg. Alright. Righto. Goodbye, mate. And let's get a couple more opals here. Oh, these guys look like trouble. Alright, I just skipped that. Um, we will continue this next time, guys. Bye.